It has officially been three years since Central Fiction came out. It came out on, well, it technically didn't come out, in, it came out in arcades earlier, but it, it came out on consoles in October 2016, and damn, just thinking about it and all the memories and the anger that I have because it still doesn't have a dub, things have changed since then. It, is, it finally really, I feel like it was the last bit of it happened when Special Edition came out on the Switch. I wish the PS4 version got a Special Edition, but way, you know, whatever. But anyway, I started to think about characters that should have been in the game that could have made it, and since I already know they're not going to support this game anymore, I might as well just rant about who who could have made it into Central Fiction. I feel like these, personally, these are the top three characters that could have made it in. Um, yeah, it's pretty much, I, w I just guessed, the, it was like, okay, um, what three characters could get in Central Fiction that could have been in there? So, here we go. I've been clamoring for Kajun for years, and the only thing I could really see her being playable with is that she really doesn't have that many abilities that we know of, except for the fact that she knows how to use Ars Magus a lot. Like, she's really good at using Ars Magus. Like, she knows how to pretty much break it down and use it. Now, most of the characters can use Ars Magus, so I can't really say much of it. Like, um, she's a spy, so, you know, she can probably, nah, stuff wouldn't really work in this kind of game. She would be able to be, like, a quick kind of character. Um, like, her main, main thing is that she uses, like, lit chemicals in battle. Um, I don't know how that would work with chemicals. Like, unless you want to start adding, like, status effects, like what Bang does, which it could work. Like, you could, like, throw, like, poisonous, like, vials at people and, you like, use, like, spray and crap like that. You know, just put, like, status effects on. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, because you would be, like, a, not a unique, unique, uh, un really unique character, but she could use that to her advantage and stuff like that. And plus, because she was a scientist, and she was also the one who created the freaking um, weapon that Mai has, the Gallia Sifra. So she could use her own legacy weapon, so... I mean... <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else I can say for Kajun. I just want her to be playable, but I do like the fact that she could like basically like poison people. She could like, stack them with status effects, but it could be hindrance by, like, she can only do status effects. She can't, like... There's nothing really mean status effects in like Blaze Blue. If you if, could, you would work perfectly in Persona, but <laughs> as for Blaze Blue, I can only see her really poisoning characters or freezing them. But you know, Nine kind of covers the whole freezing aspect in Jin, but it could still work. You know, she could like kind of set characters on fire or something like that, or um, paralyze them to hinder their movements or something like that. Just, just, just don't be broken about it. Like, do like a like really quick, but like. You know, just like, like, you know, make, give her some gadgets like they did with Coconut Way. I mean, something like that. I just want Kajun to be playable in some capacity, you know. I feel like that'd be like a missed opportunity, and I feel like people have been clamoring for Kajun. Because I want to, like, I want to know more about her, because, like, she's pretty much, like, unknown as a character, you know. Like, we don't know that much about her. We don't know really of her backstory. We don't know how she fights all that often. She's kind of just there. And I hope getting her playable and evolved more into Blaze Blue, like, fighting wise, would give people more to talk about. Yeah, Trinity was an obvious choice for me to pick, but like, it's not that I want Trinity to become playable. Like, I'm not. I was never really clamoring for Trinity, mainly because I don't like her all that much. I don't hate her, but I just after hearing, after, after knowing what she does with, you know, trying to keep trying to trust Hosma and all the extra crap. She's just. She's not a very bright character, despite being a very powerful alchemist, but I do want Trinity to be playable somehow. Mainly so I can just stop dealing with Platinum every time I see Trinity, because Trinity is pretty much attached to Platinum. Uh, I gotta talk about Trinity's name real quick, because I don't get why she is called Trinity. And, like, Platinum and Trinity makes sense. There's three of them. There's Luna, Senna, and Trinity. Though, Trinity has nothing to do with the number three, and... I don't get why she's called Trinity. Like, the sad fact, the fact that is her like her nickname is Platinum the Trinity or the Platinum Alchemist. How is she? Like, I, I get Platinum because of her platinum hair, but Platinum the Trinity. Before we got Platinum the Trinity, okay. Well, anyway, that's not the point. The point is, I want her to be playable. Now, Mori actually did come out and say that if he was going to make her playable, she would play like Iceman. From uh, what was it? What what was that game called? I think it was uh, crap. What did Iceman come from? <laughs> Damn it! No no no! It, it was X Men: Children of the Atom. I remember now. I remember now. So yeah, 
it's I haven't seen I forgot what X um sorry Ice Maker plays like in Children of the Atom, but if he plays like I can guess Trinity play would play like then yeah. But Trinity, eh, she could be alright playable. I don't want her to be a platinum clone, though I heavily doubt she will. But I don't want her to be like a straight up nine clone. Like she wouldn't I feel like she would be more like stationary kind of throwing magic or something like that. Instead of being like all up in your face, like she's like like a zoner with magic, you know? Or something like that. I, I don't know what Trinity would honestly do because we don't get to see much of her abilities firsthand. You know, we, we don't see enough, much of her abilities. We only see what she could do through Platinum, and it really doesn't matter or anything. Like, I don't know. Wait, like, the, the main thing we know is that all she can do is she can barrage her opponents with physical objects. You know, how, like Rachel can throw her like like animals. <laughs> And other crappy people. I feel like that would be like if she would like throw like a table or like a box or something. Uh, she can also create bodies through the Muturin, so like she can create like an army or something. Like she like something like minions, you know. I feel like she could do minions like Jacko does from um from Guilty Gear, but hell if I would know. I just want Trinity to be playable. And if Mori ever decided to make her playable, even though it's kind of late at this point, I get, wish he would. <laughs> You know, as odd as this choice sounds, I would like for Homura to be playable. Now, I, the only reason I would say Homura, you know, because A, his mother Tenjo is dead. And uh, I don't want to bring dead characters into this. I'm trying not to, because hell, if, it, if, if Tenjo was alive, I'd use Tenjo. But since Tenjo is dead, I'm going to use Homura. Now, we don't know much of what the home, uh, Amano Hokusaka family can do. All we know is that they do a lot of sorcery. Uh, they can use um, like uh, Shikigami paper minions, well, paper paper attacks like made Amano Hokusaka does in next place. Um, we know that um, Tenjo could work well works with talismans and stuff like that. So it could be like I would like to see more like you know mystic kind of magic kind of characters. You know, like I want Homer to be playable mainly because we don't know really much about the kid and. We all we know is that he's the son or daughter. Actually, you know what? We never nobody has explicitly said if Homer was a boy. Now they said um, they do it in an English localization. They call Homer a dude, but in the Japanese version, they never say any kind of gender. They never said, it. and it's it's starting to act like that thing where they did with Tenjo, when Tenjo was actually they called Tenjo a dude in the English localization, but Tenjo was actually a girl in the Japanese version in Spiral Shift. So. Take that as you will. We don't know who Tenjo really is. I mean, sorry, Homer really is a boy or a girl. But since the English is calling him a dude, I'm just going to say dude for now. But, like, we don't really know uh, what T Homer actually does. You know, we don't know really. He doesn't he only have a line in Central Fiction. And he only appears at the very end, like, in the freaking epilogue. So, like, for me personally, I would just want the kid to be more like just a direct magic user or, like, you know, attacking with the Shikigami papers like uh, Mei Hamano Hokusaka does. Like, I just wanted to do something because he, se he seemed like an important character, but it was just he was just put aside just to be the leader of the, the NOL. So, at least it would give Tenjo some kind of importance, like, as a fighting character. And plus, we get to learn a little bit more about him because we don't know really what their extent was, like, um... With his relationship with Tenjo, all we know is that he's the kid of Tenjo. He thought to have died in the Cargo Civil War, but yet she survived. And you know, Bang's main goal is to find Homer anyway, so you know, pretty much. But I want to see how Homer would be if he was playable. Like, please, like that'd be kind of cool, you know, get someone unique. Like, plus, you got like another little kid character like Carl, so you know, you know, more little kid characters, you know, just like have they have them as wacky play styles, like how Carl could just summon a goddamn freaking puppet well not summon but you know react you know activate nirvana and like that i want homer to do something you know just something just give him something to do but other than that i think that's everyone i want playable there's other characters i want playable like lenoir because maury made like made a big deal about it like not too long ago it's like oh dude you know lenoir is actually super powerful you know and i'm like i never thought about lenoir being playable but yeah i would say cosma but cosma kind of doesn't exist at this point I like how more keeps trying to bring Cosmo back to make him seem like really important, but like I don't want Cosmo around because that's just another Terami. I don't want Cosmo around as a playable character. Like I like, I like Cosmo, I like Terami, I like Susano, but we don't need no more Terramis, dude. Like I'm, I'm kind of getting sick of Terramis. <laughs> oh man, but yeah, I think other than that, 
That's it. I'm out. Goodbye, everybody.